In this video, we will learn how to create a notification. So you have to create a custom notification. So let's say somebody, some student has applied. So there is a student applicant. Okay. Um, over here, who has simply just applied over here. Okay. And let's submit this. All right. So what happens is that there there will be some education manager who is managing all this so if the students applicant get approved what i want is that the student should receive the admit ad acceptance letter or the admission letter or if suppose mm, if education manager is rejecting the application then they should be getting the rejection letter so i mean this doesn't come in erp next so you have to like customize it so let's say if I'm clicking on approved and I'm just updating it. So what will happen is that this particular at this particular email address, John will receive an admission letter or the acceptance letter. OK, so now how to do this? OK, I'll just show you how this acceptance letter look just a minute. OK. So this is how the acceptance letter will look. I mean, they will receive an email that congratulations they have been accepted and this is the pdf that will be attached to the email so how to do that let's go into the education module and okay now from here we'll have to go to the notification list okay and then in the notification list i have already created this notification so i so i'll just use this one and explain it to you all right so there is a subject line now this is the subject that is the email subject and then we'll choose the document type like for which doc type do you want to create a notification for so i want to create a notification for the student doc type okay and then next is okay here we have a channel so there are various channels such as one is sms channel and then there is an email slack and all that but we want the email notification okay the next is uh, how do we want to send the um, alert on like when do we want to send it okay so if a new doc type is created then or if it is when the submitting or if it is on the value change now I'll show you what is value change okay let's go to the education again and go to the student applicant again mm. okay so over here, whenever the student applies, the status is applied, okay? And once I change the value, once the education manager changes the value to approved, so what I want is the email to be received to this at this particular address. So that is value change. So send alert on value change and then what value change? So that is application status, okay? This is the application status over here. Okay, next is, um, where was I? Yeah. And then we'll choose the sender who will send this particular system notification okay and then we have a condition that is if dog dot application status is approved that means over here if this particular application status is approved this one then this email should be sent okay this uh, student email id I, i'll choose who is the receiver over here and then this is the message that is congratulations doc dot first name so doc is over here is student applicant okay so at this name it will go to john and then smith we are delighted to inform you that your application has been accepted for doc dot program which is this particular part so it will be electrical engineering okay now if you want to attach a print that is if you you want this particular pdf to come so now we'll go into the print format over here okay now i have created this particular print format it is a custom format so you'll choose a doc type for which you want to create a print format and then you'll choose the module which it is in it will come automatically it will be fetched automatically i mean and then we have the two types of print print format that is jinja and js i'll choose jinja templating so let's get into this now so what I'm actually fetching is I'm fetching the letter head. OK, now over here. Um, OK, I'll just simply go to somebody else's. 
okay now we have a printing details over here so one is letterhead and then we have a school name so what is letterhead letterhead actually have the <coughs> have the logo okay sorry mm, i'll just preview this so this is the logo okay that will be present at the top of the like over here all right next is So next over here is we have the so what I was trying to fetch is the I mean the program over here wait I'll just go back again so it's a little little bit complex but it's really easy to if once you understand the flow mm. okay so electrical engineering program so what what I have in my system like ERP next have all the all So all the program will also have this particular logo, okay. So yes, and then we have. So next I tried to fetch the first name, like you can see, dear Sabia, and then we have added all the name, mobile number, as well as the date of birth. And so what I tried was I also tried to fetch the companies um, I mean the Institute phone number as that as well as the Institute email and all that I have also fetched um, actually this was uh, this is the one doc type that I used before and then I have the another doc type so I'll just show it to you just a minute okay so this is the another I mean another print format that I created so in this print format I have this letterhead coming properly and then there's the applicant name and then the academic year admission end date so admission end date be is being fetched from the admission student admission doc type okay and then we have this in school institute name that is being fetched also and then we have the phone number and the email okay and also the logo so what i want to say is that in erp next so institutes are considered as a company so that's how i was able to fetch it from the company doc type like i'll show you one of them so consider this one th fourth line okay so i have set and i've used this particular frap dot get underscore doc so from this particular doc that is from student admission doc i was fetching this admission end date okay so i will use this variable now like in where is it okay so admission end date i'll use this to fetch the admission end date as dot admission end date so that is how it works that's how you create a notification for whenever you want like i've also created one more notification for the if suppose the application is rejected then i've created another notification that is um, we are sorry to inform you that your application has been rejected so it's a really great feature i i hope you understood what i explained if you have any doubt please mention them in the comment box below thank you